In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare an arena for video tracking. Detection of movement based on the traditional split beam system is carried on using little glass tubes like these ones. Single flies are hosted into each tube, trapped it with cotton wool on one side and a plastic cap or wax on the other. Food is also provided. Cleaning used tubes and preparing new ones can be very tedious. Preparing a batch of 100 tubes can easily take several hours. For this reason and others, we decided to adopt custom-made arenas instead, obtained using 3D printing technology. This is what the most recent version looks like. Each arena has 32 flies into parallel grooves and all have access to the same source of food. As I'm going to show you, preparation of an arena is very straightforward. Here we are starting with a clean arena and the first thing we need to do is to pour some fly food inside the central channel. To contain the food from spilling into the grooves, we place two removable walls, one on each side of the channel. The food will go in here. Take a regular vial and microwave it for 5 to 10 seconds or until the food will melt. Gently stir the melted food to make sure it's homogeneous. Pour the food into the chamber using a 5 ml syringe. Make sure you fill up to the right levels and try not to make too many air bubbles. If some air bubbles do form, you can suck them out using a pasteur pipette. Now let everything dry for about 10 minutes. Once the food is solid again, you will have to gently remove the two containing walls. Simply use your fingernail to distance the walls from the food. You might also want to use something thin and sharp to cut along. With a gentle movement of your thumb, remove the wall. Again. This is how it should look like at the end. The arena is almost ready to go. There's only two things that we still have to do. Put some cotton wool on the side of the grooves and put the flies in. Before placing the flies in, we will have to fit the extremities with something cozy. You can use yarn for this purpose, and it's actually going to be even easier to do. But for this demonstration, we will use colored cotton wool. Take little fragments of wool and shape them using your fingers, so that they will fit inside the extremities. Use some forceps to push them well in. Do both sides this way. To push the flies in, I recommend using a fly sucker like this one. A sucker is simply a short fragment of tubing with two small tips at the extremities. One to contain and move flies around, and the other to be used as a mouthpiece. Using the sucker, you can transfer flies inside the arena without recurring to anesthesia. You will need to use a plastic cover with one or two holes, and push the flies through those holes inside the grooves. Gently slide the cover as soon as the fly is in, so that it will not escape. If you prefer to use anesthesia instead, the procedure is even simpler. Transfer the flies from the CO2 pad to the arena using your sucker and slide the cover as you go.
When you're done, use some tape or an elastic ribbon to make sure the cover will fully adhere and seal the grooves. The arena was designed so that the single flies will have the same space that they would have in a glass tube. Alright, now we are done. As you saw, it took only a few minutes to prepare an arena with 32 flies, but things can go even faster if you prepare arena in batches stored enough at 4 degrees Celsius. When you're ready for your experiment, all you'll have to do is warm the arena a little bit to room temperature and put the flies in. When your experiments are done, of course you will have to remove the flies, you will have to remove the cotton, and scrape the food out under tap water using a regular toothbrush. Let the arena dry, and you'll be ready for the next cycle. Thank you.